Hello and welcome to this special report from OTT Wrestling. I am your host, Angus McAnally. And joining me is none other than the saviour of Irish wrestling, the supreme suplex machine, the shooter, Scotty Davis. Thanks so much for joining us, Scotty. Hi, Angus. Um, take us back a few short weeks. In ring, just after the match, standing across from you is none other than Will Ospreay. And what news did he drop on you, Scotty? He dropped the nails that I'm wrestling Jushin Thunder Liger at Scrapper Mania. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad day at the office. Tell me what that moment felt like. Oh, it felt surreal. I um, I can't compare anything like it. Um, it was one of my favourite moments ever, like in professional wrestling for me. Anyway, um, just to be in stalled, sold out arena, one thousand five hundred people like chatting, supporting, and I'm in the ring with Will Ospreay, and he just drops the nails that I'm wrestling the best junior heavyweight of all time. Like. It's, it's hard to believe at times. Osprey has been a very important figure in your career. He's really taken you under his wing. How important has that been for you, particularly over that kind of breakout year you had last year? I have him to thank for a lot of that. Um, I feel like my success in the UK really began when I went over to train with Osprey. He held tryouts for Frontline. I went over. After one day of training, he was like, I want to I wanna go with you. Is this what you want to do? Would you be happy? Strapping down your move says strapping down your character, starting from the st starting all the way from the beginning again. I'd be like, and I was saying, yeah, that's not a problem. I'd be happy to do that once it once I get once I can get to prove myself in the UK. And he was, he was all for it. And since then, they up. Do you think there's an element that Osprey sees a bit of himself in you? Perhaps. I yeah, I definitely think that. And um, especially when we done that springboard backflip, we made eye contact. There was, something, there was something behind his eyes there, and like I felt it. Well, Osprey's been key in providing a platform for you to show just how good you are. There was another platform provided for you at another Scrapper Mania show a few short years ago when you got to face off against Jigsaw. How big a match was that for you at that early stage in your career? Well, at that stage, I was inexperienced. I just turned 16, and I get a call during the week saying, um, what are you doing, Saturday? And then a couple of days later, I find out that I'm wrestling Jigsaw in the National Stadium. And this is a, I'm 16, I can't believe it. I wrestle Jigsaw, it goes on rail and has all the, these nice things to say about me. And it was such a great moment for me, but I find it hard to look at it back just because of how much I've improved since then. Well, talking about those improvements, you are going to need to have upped your game for Scrapper Mania 5. As you yeah. said, the greatest junior heavyweight of all time, Jushin Thunder Liger. Do you feel at this stage that you are enough of the total package to step in there and match Liger? Yes, I feel that. I feel completely confident in my ability at this stage. I feel that, like, obviously I'm not in it as much as he is. He's in it about 30 years. He's owned wrestling since before I was born. He was a legend before I was born. But I feel like I can be faster, I can be stronger, and... I just have all the tools I need at the moment. I'm hungry and I want this. I want to be on top of ODT. I want to be on top of the whole Irish scene. I want to run the Irish scene. And I'm completely confident. Scotty, I'm really looking forward to the match. When you break out those gator rolls, you know I'm going to be popping for it. Thank you so much <laughs> for joining us. No problem, Mango. Thanks for having me.